Hello, Biotube. In celebration of 1,984 subscribers, let's review Legacy Leo Prime, who is exceptionally accurate despite the loss of a few paint apps here and there. And he comes with four guns, which can be put in many different configurations. And of course, he has his signature claw weapons. He really does evoke the idea of a Lion Optimus Prime, and that's what he's supposed to. Of course, he's got his Energon Matrix, which much like the rest of his weapons is Blast Effect compatible. Or if you want to store some of the other Matrixes from the War for Cybertron or Legacy Trilogy, his chest opens up just like Prime. It's worth noting, and I'm not sure if it has anything to do with the new open box packaging, but my Prime is scuffed on the face. And now for Beast Mode. A lot of people don't like the face, but it does feel like a vintage Beast Wars kind of face to me, so I'm cool with it. I can see how some people would not like it. Also, may or may not have anything to do with the open packaging, but his nose is a little scratched. As you can see, he is a lot bigger, more accurate, and more complete than my old Leo Prime. Still very much enjoy both of them. It is interesting how the gold paint contrasts with the gold plastic. Speaking of paint, I did notice something strange. There are these little dots of paint on him every now and again. Not that big of a deal, just a little strange. What is also strange is the clearly visible serial number on his side. All of his guns are able to attach to his main in beast mode, and they are also all able to store away in beast mode. I'm sure Kingdom Primal would be a much better fit to ride Legacy Leo Prime, as he did in the Beast Wars 2 theatrical movie. That's right, just like Generation 1, Beast Wars got its own theatrical film. And it was pretty fun, I liked the relationship between Leo Convoy and his son, and it was cool to see the Maximal leaders team up to defeat the Predacons. Hopefully one day we'll get a figure of Majin Zarek. Will the live-action Beast Wars film be better than the animated one? Probably not. I have to say he really does fit in with the aesthetics of the vintage Beast Wars figures, and it's nice to have a full set of Beast Era Supreme Commanders, even if they aren't quite to scale. All in all, Legacy Leo Prime is a fine addition to any Beast Wars collection. In other news, they're making more show-accurate reissues, and some horribly colored redecos of Generations toys, based on cancelled G2 figures, in the Toxitron collection, even though Toxitron was Universe, not G2. But hey, they have Greymon Grimlock, with an IDW-inspired head for no reason. Imagine being. Links below.